So I think it's kind of funny. The one person who had a stretch exercise actually had something I was going to add. So um, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, carpal tunnel syndrome in 2016. I've been drumming for 27 years. And this is a stretch I got from one of my favorite drummers, uh, Gene Hoagland's uh, first of two DVDs from 2010, The Atomic Clock. The thing in the beginning is like the other guy posted. It's the prayer stretch from another drummer, Jason Bittner's DVD. That's what I'm just going to do in the beginning. Um, I use this for a lot more than just drumming. I also use it for uh, stretching before I um, practice lacrosse and run and exercise. And when I used to play hockey, I, di I did it. And sometimes I would do it when I used to stock magazines for a company because I'd have to wear a splint. Um, and gloves because, you know, I couldn't handle the holding the magazines with a bare hand. But anyways, here's what, um, what this exercise looks like. All right, you keep your hands straight. All right, and then, um, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'll be able to start it over. Uh, for the first is this prayer stretch. So you do that for 20 seconds and then to the Gene Hoagland part. All right, put your hand upside down, stretch your fingers for 20, um, 10 seconds, I, I'd recommend 10 seconds, other one, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and then do a quick three of your fingers. And then upside down, um, this way, turn it around. And this one. You do that before you do something with um, wrist and fingers, you'll be good to go.